All right, so this is it. This is right. we are in grand finals. Hello, everybody. My name is Sean, otherwise known as Cardona. I'm the head TO of this tournament, and uh, I've been watching these guys play literally all day. Like I've been running the stream. I've been watching them play literally all day. So uh, I'm really excited to see you know what they're gonna pull out. It's quite the show. Yeah. Burpo defending his home turf from Mickey the Invader. Yeah, honestly. Here with me and my boys. See, it's really insane because this is the first stronghold that Straw Hat has not been at, right? So we are going to have a new winner of stronghold for the first time this entire semester. So will it be Red Burpo, who has been coming out and been doing really well, or will it be Scuttle, which he has not been out to any of them so far? And, you know, he would just be invading, taking the title, and then, you know, heading out. So... We'll see who takes it. What a change that would be to have someone that's not even part of the uh, part of the college like just take this tournament, the first one that Straw Hat's not out for a while. Yeah, honestly, it'd be it'd be really interesting because, um, like I said, like Straw Hat comes out to a lot of stuff, but also let's talk about that first stock and Scuttle just taking it. Scuttle and loves going deep. He loves going deep with Palutena. I mean, I feel like you need to though, you know, like that's definitely one of her biggest strengths is being able to go out and edge guard, uh, just like she did. So many tools to get out there against anybody. Yeah. All right. Burpo makes it back, and uh, Paul Tain is at 125. Goes for almost almost misses the auto reticle with the taunt. That would be bad. Back, back here, here takes it. Take it. Scuttle only getting one percent. It's all right. Some extra credit. Starting to starting to get the wall set up. Burpo up throw into Those down air. Not gonna lead it. Scuttle starting to get the conversion. Ooh, nice down air there. Just a lot of footsies right now. No, nothing really happening, but... Both players just trying to get those hits in. They're racking up percent. They're just so pretty even. Right now, literally almost dead even. Nice back there from Scuttle. Nice Gets fair. the extension off of the fireball. Back air jab lock. Jab lock. Forward smash. Not yet. Not yet, baby. What? How to not take it? What do you mean? He's got to look at him like you think this is gonna. You think this is. You think this is where I die? Down tilt and up air doesn't did? connect though. Back air won't take it yet. I'm assuming Burpo. he was gonna go out for a nair there, but uh, just doesn't connect unfortunately. That back throw not gonna take it yet. Really good di coming out from Burpo. Dash tag that, that will take it. Attack. They are still so even. Honestly, Burpo just needs one good, like really good hit now, and you know that that will be the stock, and they'll be you know first dead even again. But, it's, uh, it's been the running three. It's been the running theme of the past three sets, but it's really it comes down to whoever has the stock up, how much percent they can rack before they go down. That honestly, it, I, I feel like that's with any you know set is like you have to rack up as much as you can. You know, it's all no jump makes it back. Palutena got those, she got those magnet hands. He's able to make it back. Nice Nair. Right, Scuttle, up. Scuttle doing a really good job of surviving at the percentage of that. Now, honestly, 174 still alive. Does not have a jump and right now, makes it back. make it back. And up there's going to take it there. Now, Burpo at 91% to Scuttle's 5. This is gonna be really tough for Purple to try to bring it back, but nice up throw, downer into up B. That's a solid combo, racking up 35% there. Oh, he's racking up even he's more. It. Is that that wasn't it, that was so close. It's there now, almost dead even. Only 30%, 20% separates them now. Nice grab. Oh, he tries to end it with the fair. Great DI coming out. Oh. Just Hashtag hack. not gonna take it quite yet. He went for it. For going for up smash he there. Up air, that beats, will take it. He beat the up smash with the invincibility frames from the dash attack. What a play. See now, they're going back to they're going to battlefield now, right? Are we gonna see Burpo try to bring out uh Joker or no he's he's sick, with sick Mario. Mario. I can understand it because you know Mario gets a lot off the platforms, he can get a lot of like height with the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. At the same time, Scuttle likes the platforms just because he loves doing he loves tele like uh, ledge canceling with teleport. Oh yeah. I feel like this is still a really good stage for Scuttle and like Mario doesn't have like too many advantages, but I mean, we'll see how it plays out. 
I can definitely see this. I can definitely see this game coming down to who can abuse the stage the most. With, with, the, with what they have with the stage. Yeah, that's something it was gonna be. Ooh, nice dash attack there to kind of get him away from the ledge, but doesn't get, doesn't get much out of it. Doesn't get that ledge shot. Went for a random up smash there. I'm assuming you thought he was gonna come in, but no dice. He's trying to he's trying to get that up smash, but yeah, he, he really is fishing for it. I think he's just trying to rack up as much uh, percent as possible just off of that, but. uh if he wants to take this, he really can't be going for that, you know, all the time. It's going to be way too obvious. Nice Nair, though, to get him off. Another Nair. Beating nice. Out, beating out the teleport. Oh, makes it back, though. Holting at 127. Up smash, I think, 140. Back throw, not yet. Nice, uh... Great use of flood keeping him away. Yeah. Nice back throw, but it was a weak hit. Nice Nair. Really just getting him off stage and making him like really work to try to get back to center stage. Downer's, Downer's gonna take it there. It. Now Provo needs to honestly rack up as much as he can here at 121%. Good choice recovering high. Oh, oh that's so unfortunate. Right. Scuttle, that that is a rough one. Provo now with two, oh, essentially a three stock lead. I mean, this is this is rough. He needs it. I don't need to take this top right now. There we go. There we go. Now only just about one stock separates them, but that's still gonna be an uphill battle for Scuttle. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be a fun time for him. He's just, he's just straight up not having a good time. No, that that SD absolutely hurt. Yeah. I mean, see the thing Scuttle? is, not only does it hurt your game, but like your mentality also. Like you know, what do you think after that? You know. So Scuttle being at 103%, this is very rough for him. I think Burpo is going to end up taking this one. Unless Scuttle pulls, honestly, something out of his ass. He's he's definitely doing what he can to get his hits and keep Burpo out. It's just, it's just every, sing, every single hit that Burpo gets at this point is just, it's one it's one more nail in the call. It really is. It's not something where he can kind of take a couple hits and, you know, still be okay. Like, he really can't get hit too much. But honestly, he's... Close to having Burpo, close to any Burpo stock, but oh, oh that's so rough. Teleport. This is really, that was really rough for Scuttle, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens here. Very fortunate for Burpo though, and also. I So we're in game three right now. Both players up one game each. And then as a stream manager, I forgot to put a little L next to Purple's name because he is coming from loser. So, you know, it's it is going to be rough for him to try to reset and, uh, you know, get into it. That's definitely a lot more work. Of course, Scuttle at this point has to win two more games. Burpo has to win five? Uh, he would have to win uh, one, two, yeah, five. He would have to win total five, but Skull definitely is going to have an easier time, and honestly, if he can just... He has a very good lead right now. Yeah, honestly, 120% to 19 is insane right now. I'm assuming Kalos just, uh, just is not that good for Mario, unfortunately. No platforms to really work off of. He's going to eat that explosive flame landing. Scuttle. Scuttle essentially has a full stock lead right now. But that was uh, really Burpo, good percent from Burpo. He's, again, it's just, it's those hits, like it's those, it's the strings and it's the hits, it all builds up. It really does, it really does. And now Burpo just chilling on that platform, but going in, Nair, up airs, tries to trying end it to, with Bear, but doesn't connect. He's trying to get that early, he's trying to get that early kill. I mean, he has to, he's, he's really far, not too far behind, but definitely it's not an easy thing, you know, to, because at 105, Mario can't really kill unless it's with, like, a strong back air, you know, off the stage or 
or something like that, you know? And at this point, 129. Doesn't connect with down smash. He tries to go for a raw up smash there, but just doesn't connect. And he tries to go for it again. He's he's honestly really fishing for the kill right now. He's been played very smart about, you know, what he's doing. I can understand why, because he really, really needs that kill right now. And he really needs to start working on the, on the next stock. Skittles honestly just, you know, trying to stay away from him, you know, because he knows that he doesn't want to go in, but right there, back air is going to take it. And Burpa at 73%, really needs to rack up some damage here. At least one one grab can definitely lead him to, like, you know, 30 40%, you know, and really get him back into this game. There's a grab there. Down throw into, or no, up throw into up air. Great patience coming out from Scuttle, waiting out the attacks. Nice back air there, and nice Close explosive. Close to flame, not going to do it. Kalos got a big ceiling, but, but that up air will. Up air is going to take it. And right now, Skull's just running away with this. Honestly, only 48% on his second stock, and Burpo, is, again, is essentially one full stock behind. He has to put in some work if he wants to stay alive in this. Great DI coming out from Burpo, avoiding the attack against it there, but... Very nice string right there, but just wasn't able to get any kill off of it or get him off stage. Makes it back. Just running into the shield and <laughs> just pushing him. I mean, honestly, like, what do you do in that situation? When you're shielding, it's like, all right, well, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna grab? It definitely, is. it's a bit of a standoff. Force smash doesn't do, doesn't hit. It's that big ceiling. Yeah, Burbo's really fishing for smash attacks now, just trying to end this stock and you know make it easier for himself to, you know, work on the next one. Bit too low with that explosive flame. Oh, back throw. Nice up air there from Burpo, though. Back air, that's going to take that stock, but still at 80%. That's so, 91%. That's so rough for Burpo. He has to be played really carefully. It's just like... It's caught Nair out of shield. Yeah. I mean, this is just like Scuttle with the last game, where he was, you know, down by so much, and, like, any little hit that Scuttle gets on Burpo here is... You know, not something that you can just kind of, you know, ignore. Like, every single percent counts at this point. Nice string, though. Nice. Burpo coming out, but... It doesn't connect with the final forward smash. So unfortunate. But up reads smash the will neutral take tech. It. What a beautiful read. That was a beautiful read. That that, just insane. The scuttle now up 2-1. Now, heading back, heading back to Smash, or heading over to Smashville. Now, what are we gonna see out of Burpo? Because we have Scuttle on the Palutena. Will Burpo pull out the Joker? You know, the answer and is he's, yes. He's gonna pull out the Joker. He's thinking it's, about it. It's honestly, it's not a bad idea because Joker with our Sen, a lot of tools could, to contest Palutena in the air. Yeah, like just, just bears, just any hit. A lot, of, a lot of stuff you can build off of like fair one, like up air drag down. Yeah. And now we have to see how Skittle's gonna, you know, adapt to this Joker. Cause he was just playing a Mario this entire time, you know. And now he has to fight a Joker, which a, which is a very different character, you know. In a lot of their, uh, in honestly, in a lot of uh, how their moves. Uh, they definitely, hit and they both, they both try to play like somewhat different games from each other. Yeah. Right now, Burpo with a slight lead, but now has now he has Arsene, which uh, Pink Floyd is in the studio. Pink Floyd is definitely in the studio. Skull has to be careful here because Arsene, I, I mean, just racks up so much damage. Tons of percent that counter. I, I mean, right there, you just went from what was that, 80 to 100 off of one counter. An up smash, that's gonna take it right there. Burpo only at 43 percent. We got the uh, Joker shuffle coming out. Yeah. See, one thing I never understood what people don't do when they're fighting Joker and he has Arsena is like, why don't they wait on the platform, you know? Yeah, a really good option against Joker with Arsene, especially when he's at higher percents, is just to grab him and start pummeling him because it, it, it lowers the meter. Like it's oh, more, okay. It's hits coming out to like lower meter down. Oh, okay. I did not know that. It's it's any it's honestly it's like it's any little hit that kinda like lowers it down. Any hit like that is just worth it. Okay. 
starting to look a lot like a more even game right now. It definitely is. I mean, this is what we saw in, uh, because they played in winners' finals, and, you know, we saw Paul Tan and Joker, and honestly, they went to game five, you know, but Scuttle just edged it out in uh, that set. But we'll see what happens here, because Purple was able to take a game with Mario, which is really good, you know. Yes. Oh, my. They are dead even right now. I don't know what Purple's trying to go for here. He's trying to... Oh, nice fair. He's going very deep for that back here. I mean, he can make it back. He has Arsene. You know, he has to be careful because he's about to run out, and there he goes. Nice use of gun. That was my favorite thing about Joker, you know? It's just... He, he has just, a special it's just, move. It's just called gun. Yeah, he has a special move. Uh, gun. But... <laughs> But there we see uh, Skull taking that, you know, second stock of Ripo, and uh, honestly, he has to be careful here. He has to take this stock very soon if he wants to stay alive, because, I mean... is getting that percent. This is scary. 51%, but he does have Arsene. He has to close out this stock here, you know, so he can try to win this game, because, I mean, this is this is his last shot, you know? He needs to win these next two to get the reset and then win another three to, you know, win the tournament. But Scuttle only needs one, and right now he's in a great position to, you know, win this. Phil, that F tilt's going to take it. Now he's got to make he's got to make as much use of Arsene as he, as he can. Unfortunately, he's not able to get much out of it. Oh, nice, he's supposed to flame. Supposed to flame. And this is the up air, though. This is that up air. The string's going. This is so scary for Joker. Especially because he's not really that close to our send. Like, he's starting to come up now, but it might be too little too late. Back throw? Not, not yet. yet. Yeah, that's our send. Went for Nair, but just missed it. Footstool? Footstool! And he turns it around! Burpo comes back from the depths of hell to win that game, and we are tied two apiece. Good lord. I mean, it is entirely possible right now for Burp to reset. Like, that, that was the game where Scuttle could have just ended it, you know, but just Burbo being so smart getting the footstool on him. I feel like, insane. I feel like this set right now, I feel like this is do or, do or die time for both players. It really is. And right now we're going to see Paul Tane and Joker again. And uh, I didn't get to see what stage they're going to, but we will find out. Town and city. All right, well, let's see how it works. We already see Burpo going in, racking up almost 30% off of uh, grabbing two up airs, which is really good. He needs, uh, I mean, he needs to take this one to reset. This is very stressful for both players. He's making very good use of Joker's neutral special just to get like any straight percent that he can. Yeah. Yeah, both of them just kinda of going for their nares and nothing out of that, but both trying to get those both trying to get their combos started. Joker Purple getting very close to uh Arsene. He's very close. Makes it back. Nice nair coming out from Scuttle there. Out. Nice up smash, but doesn't kill him yet. This is scary. 115 to 52%. This is a very, very iffy spot for Scuttle right now. Yeah, he needs to start racking up percent, or at least, you know, get our set, get our set out of here. <laughs> he needs to, needs to get rid of our set and just maintain center stage. Just Joker near the ledge with our set is a very, it's very dangerous. That nice ledge trump ledge back here, Burpo showing. He's he so good at that. Yeah, I, he, I see him do it all the time. He's so good with that. Right now, Skeletal needs to, you know, start doing some damage because right now we're looking at a reset if it keeps up like this. This pace. Burpo making really good use of Rebel's Guard, just eating the Nair and just converting into, into a gauge meter. Yeah. Right now he's almost already back at Arsene. He's about to have it too, and there we go. Nice Nair. Doesn't take Catch it, though. The, oh, the footstool. footstool. Does it? Oh, my God. That was such a 
incredible turn of events, and right now we're looking at a reset if it keeps was, up like this. That was BM the combo right there. It, it was. I mean, he got the footstool down air, and then uh, I think that was a back air into the stage spike. Just, just shoving him down, like, no, you get down there. But you are not coming back up. I don't know what to tell you. You're not allowed. I won't allow, I won't allow it. <laughs> and it was not allowed to press the up B button at all. And every time he did, he was punched for it. Right now we're seeing Scuttle. Joker at 78% on his second stock, and Scuttle can turn this around. He just needs to be very careful. Great spacing on that back here. If he can take this stock right here, he will be right back in the game. He just can't rack up too much percent. But again, with Arsene, it's kind of tough. We see Arsene go away, and we can really see Scuttle try to get to work on this one. Burfo's in the hundreds now. Any just needs like a back air or well placed fair near the ledge. Yeah. I mean Burfo's still racking up. He's at 75%. He makes it back. Back throw, that that'll back take throw, it that's there. Take it. Now this is do or die right now for uh Burpo. He needs to honestly confirm this kill and we'll be in a reset. But I mean Scuttle needs to teleports right into the grab. Nice ledge cancel. I believe that was ledge cancel it looked like. Down throw, not yet. Ooh. Clips him with the grab. Oh, not yet. Ledge Trump, but doesn't do the back air. Yeah, I think down throw's gonna take it. Not yet. No, not yet. This is so scary for Scuttle. Are we gonna see the combo? Are we gonna see it? some strings. Oh, it goes for down air, but it doesn't connect. So unfortunate. Back, back air, that's gonna, that's gonna, gonna take it. We have the reset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to grand final set number two. back grand finals reset and uh you know right now we see paul tana has the uh has the lead but joker does have our send at 68.9 percent and honestly just paul tana's racking up more damage and making it tough for joker already still doing a really good job of Staying on Burpo, just keeping on him, just keeping that percent going. I feel like with Joker, it's like once you're in on him, you have to stay in. You know, you can't let up because that gives him time to reset and you know, kind of get his composure and you know, start playing his next attack. Just gotta keep applying that pressure. Nice oh, back air. Back Doesn't take it yet, yet though. Down throw in a back air from Joker with the Cancels clip. the teleport with the grappling hook. This is gun, dash, dash tag won't take it yet either. Take it. Any... You guys are sent, but so close at 174 too. I, th I thought that was oh my. And it's already turned around. <laughs> and <laughs> he just Burpo takes it. just uh, he just takes it like just a chillin'. Yeah, he uh, he was just chilling. You know, he's like, you know what? I don't need our send. That you was know? just it was for the culture. Yeah. So we're pretty much back at even now, but Joker almost already has our send. It's just insane how fast he, you know, builds up meter. Nice grab, forward air. Skittle doing a really good job of waiting out the, the Tetra cards. Right now we're seeing 3% to 91%. Burbo is falling really far behind, but All right, this nice might, grabs. This might start it, though. Oh, try, try to read a roll in, it looked like, but just no dice. Arsene gone now, and that's where Skull can really get to work, but... Tries to get another read with the second place. Oh, just... And, well, Joker's... Meter. Joker's already almost had Arsene again, so uh, we'll be seeing him in just a little bit. Back 
Gear won't take it though. are almost dead even. It's just the only difference really is Joker having our send right now just powers him up so much. Nice Nair. I'm assuming he was thinking uh, Scuttle was going to go for something so he go, went for counter but nothing. There's the counter. The happens hit, right the there. The hitbox on that move is gigantic. And oh. Arsene went away? I guess Arsene went away as he was trying to recover so now we're seeing Scuttle on top. And up smash. It's, we're, we're it's dead back even. To, it's back to even. Dead even. Auto reticle not going to find a target since so it's just sitting there. Nice use of gun to stop his nair from coming in. I mean. Nice back air. Getting him closer to the edge and just applying pressure. And, oh, that was really nice from Scuttle getting him off stage. Burpo has Arsene, he can really rack up some damage here. Nice counter there. Is that, Fair. That's that, gonna take it. Takes? It's, it's honestly, it's kind of absurd how strong that back air is. It really is. Wait, was that back air or was that forward air? That was back air. Oh, that was back air? That was oh. bear. Oh. Yeah, let's check the replay. Yeah, that was bear. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Just one more brick in the wall. No, yeah, honestly. <laughs> so we're going into game two of the reset. Now we're going at back Kalos. to Kalos. Is it Kalos or Kalos? I always thought it was Kalos. I always thought it was Kalos. I don't know. Tomato, tomato. Hey, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> right now, dead even. Uh, See, there's a lot of jumping around in footsies right now, and nice forward tilt from Scuttle. Back up some percent, already at 50. And tries to going, going go really deep there. Down throw fair, doesn't connect anymore. Good DI from Burpo. But Burpo racking up percent, and now we're trying to pull it back. And dead even. Arsene coming out. Arsene really has been the game changer this entire time. Oh. Yeah, how dare you talk about your futures in your in a uh, smash you talk about on your dreams. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, oh nice tank off the counter there. Right now we're seeing Scuttle. Already lost the stock. It's not, honestly, in my opinion, not the worst position to be in. Joe, um, Arsene, not super close to coming out right now. Well, you got time. Burpo's kind of up there in percent right now. Nice Nair, and he's not dead yet, and that'll I'll take go. it there. Now he's dead. Joker with the slight lead, but doesn't do much, and just feeding the meter there. He really has to be he just, careful he with that. Know, he, just, he knows so well when to use it. Like He's just using it at the best possible time each See, time he gets it out. And here's the thing. When he uses it, Scuttle's not realizing, hey, he's going to hold it for a little bit longer. You know, Because so, Burbo's realizing, all right, I'm going to use it. He's going to think I'm going to drop it. But I'm going to hold it even longer, build up more shield, because he's going to more meter, because he's just going to come back in again. It's also like, of the moves that kind of function like that, like all the other counterattacks, like, they they end like they, quickly. they have a time they end yeah. quickly like but this rebels can, guard like it, it lasts so long i mean you hold it essentially like a smash attack you know that's what you're doing you're literally holding it as if it's a smash attack and just you know, for so long up so much meter both of them are close to you know the end of their stocks pretty much dead even this has been such a close set so far nice back air it doesn't take you yet though Nice air dodge in, but Blastone's not doing anybody any favors here. He's not doing anyone any favors right now. This is that up smash. Poke shield there. Nice tomahawk grab there. Not gonna take it quite yet. 
Ooh, that's back air. That's yeet. You just, you just yeah, yeeted him out of here. Yeet. All right, I up smash and take it there. Top. We are so close. We are back in the pit, baby. Burpo building up some more meter off of a uh, whatever that moves called. I already forget. It's a uh, rebel's guard. Rebel's guard. There we go. I don't know why I had a brain fart there. <laughs> that's fine. Nice string of nares though. Try to read the roll in, just doesn't get it though. Ooh, makes it back. Not, not strong enough to get the kill off the stage spike yet. Great read on the counter. Let's go for up air again. Up air there? Not, not yet. yet. Oh, and that's gonna be it. God is off stage. One you one. Hate, you hate to see that. If there's, if there's any one thing in this game that is extremely disheartening, it's buffering air dodge off stage. It, dude, I, so you play Mac. Little, if I, if little, I do it, I die. Little fact about me, I also play Mac. Yeah? Yeah, so uh, I've done that plenty of times and just been like, that's the one thing I wish they would face. I always buffer to, you know, roll on stage, but I get air, you know, an air dodge set if they, uh, you know, uh, ledge trump. It's something, it's something that takes, like, a lot of, like, I, I don't think discipline is like the right word, but like, I, usually when I play that character, I play very, I play very conservative with my air dodges. But yeah. um, to the game at hand here, Scuttle getting Nair off of up on stage, but back here not gonna take it just yet. I'm trying to go for a forward tilt, you know, and hopefully end the stock there, but nothing. Backer has him off stage. Goes for the Nair, but we're just going around it and he goes trying right to, back off stage with him. I'm I'm assuming he was trying to go for maybe like the ledge jump or something. Yeah, I'm assuming so. Sen's I'm gone and uh honestly kinda of surprised that, that grab there after the uh, up smash didn't connect, but again just feeding that meter every time. Nice bear there. Almost takes it with, you know, regular Joker back there. Not actually able to make it back. Wait, wait, yeah, did you see that? What? All right, so, all right, so uh, for anyone who was just watching, Joker literally was had jumped near the ledge, but then teleported onto the stage. So, I mean, you'll see it right in the replay in a little bit. But uh, you watch that. I'll keep commentating this match. That was kind I, of insane. I might have. I think I saw something like a. Like yeah, a, it was. That was really. I think I weird. saw like something explaining. If this is what I think it is, I'm pretty sure it's something. Like yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be coming up in a little bit on our screen for a replay right here. That. Yeah, right. That was the weirdest thing. I think it was. I think it was just some really weird property with the tether. I'm assuming like, so, but it, I think like based on like where where he used it in relation to the ledge. I guess so. It was so weird. I mean, if that can be a consistent really? thing, that's definitely you know one move Joker can do that can really screw people up. Scuttle needs to close the stock out ASAP. I mean, Burpo is really just building up a lead now, and nice oh, he's smash. Oh, he gets tethered. And... Forward smash. Oh, uh, ne never mind. Backer. Uh, I guess. Uh, I think I. I think I know what happened there. I think uh, Joker extended his arms when he did the F smash. Oh, okay. Palatina used back air, so. The um, hitbox of back air just hit his arms and yeah, you know. something like okay. that. She she managed to survive it because of the uh, something like that maybe. That's my okay. theory, anyways. I'm seeing Paulton at 151 percent, just so tough. Our set about to and, come out. Yeah, our set's about to come out, and he was able to close out that stock. So he's going on his last stock of this game, and Burbo takes this. We'll only need one more game to you know pull the he's you know definitely in a very good position right now in this game. Especially being up, being up a stock mid percents with uh, our sent out, full yeah. gauge, very good position. Nice grab, no, up air, grab, drag down up air too. Just builds up, just like that. It's forty percent there. Just like that scuttles at fifty percent. It's a rough one. Already at seventy three percent again. Nice parry. 
See, that's one thing I wish they did with parries. I wish you could do a little bit more off of them, you know? It's definitely a cool mechanic to have, but... A couple extra frames would be nice. Yeah. So there are even sometimes where you parry and you get beat out because your uh, opponent can throw out another move that, you know, just... Yeah, when you, like, parry... Fast. When you parry multi-hits. Yeah. What? what just happened there? I actually missed that one. All right, now, now I have to watch the replay. I just, I just missed that. I, I think it was, like... Well, that is gonna take it. Man, what is going on with this set? We're seeing a lot of different things come out that I feel like shouldn't be happening. It's just weird. Right. The weirdos. All right, that's it. I'm gonna send this whole set over to uh, Nintendo. To be like, hey, what's going on we here? We gotta bud? talk about this. We, we, we gotta talk. Let's let's have a conversation. Uh, yeah, I just uh, yeah, I just saw that. So yeah. Um. Wow. That F tilt's gonna take it. Yeah, it's sent inward. That was weird. Yeah, literally, we, we I, have some people also okay, here so just watching, like, my, what the hell? My other theory for that is, um, I don't know if it was, like, if there was a gun dash when the explosive flame connected, but, um, I'm assuming the, something, like, something happened with, like, the momentum of the gun dash and the, uh, explosive flame. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's probably not how that works. All I know is that that was a weird hitbox. Forever going back to the Mario. He's feeling confident again with it. Now, Verpo did play Mario though. The reason, like one of, the, I mean, one of the main reasons he did win the game was because uh, you know, did SD. What was it? Twice, I think. Yeah. You know, so we're really gonna see how. He's gonna adjust of going from Mario to Joker back to Mario. And, I mean, already it's not looking too good, but I'll tilt in to grab into multiple backers. All right, to get the starting to get that combo off. All right, maybe uh maybe he made the transition pretty well. You know, just racked up 81%. Let's go, kind of firing back here. Let's go, firing back now. Dead even. Great cape. Cape, cape really just saved him there. Air dodge right into it though. Nice uh, Nair to come down with. Not gonna make it down there in time to uh, beat out the super jump punch. I, I think that's Ooh, the Oh, nice! Oh, just gonna take it. Literally tomahawked twice. Land on the platform and just up smash and take that stock. That was beautiful. Here, Dodge is up to make it back to ledge and back throw. Not There oh. we go. So one thing I learned what I see a lot of people do is um, when they're getting close to the, air, the edge, they'll air dodge in, you know? But one thing I heard, I, I don't know how true it is, but when you air dodge, whatever direction you're air dodging to, you move at the very start in the other direction just slightly before you go in. Because there, I don't think he would have died. But as, I don't know where he just like moved over just a little bit, and that really sent him into like, Oh, you mean like our box shifting? Yeah, yeah. That I know it happens a lot with like Incineroar when he does uh, like he comes out of hit stun and he's near the blast zone he'll do like he'll start up his side B and then like the uh, animation like he'll throw his arms back and that'll connect with the uh, blast zone yeah something like that oh you turn it off I mean you can turn it back on if you want it's a smaller box you're having some. Technical difficulties on the uh, main screen. Unfortunate, but uh, I'll go over there right after this match, or right after this uh, game to see what's going on with that. Goes for up air into forward air, doesn't connect though. Nice nair, back air. We're just sitting chill on top platform. Top smash does not connect there. Oh, he tried to go for Let's the forward it. smash. Makes it back. And this is honestly, this, this Scuttle needs to take this game in order to stay alive. Nice back air there. This is tough for Burpo now because he's at 98% with still one full stock to deal with from Scuttle. Yeah, it's a very, very, very dangerous game. Ooh, Fair, not nice gonna take him just yet. There. Does and that'll do it. He's Right there. Up used to get away from the explosive flame, but then... 
And just like that, we are in Game 10 Grand Finals. Game 10 of Grand Finals. Yeah. <laughs> I had a button on the uh, bottom. Game 10. Grand, Grand finals. finals. This is it. After all this time, Gary is now home, just so everyone knows. He is uh, he's actually home. But, uh, you know, now we'll finally be able to go home. Make sure that we send <laughs> those likes and likes and favorites to Gary. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Resting comfortably in his home. Yeah. <laughs> so, Purpo, switch back to Joker for this game. Uh, I mean, understandable. Like, his Joker has just performed so much better than his Mario, which... You know, I'm not saying he has a bad Mario, but just, you know, I'm assuming uh, Skeletal has this, a lot of experience these, against Mario's. In these two sets, it's, like, jo the Joker the Joker pick has just proven to play, just yeah. play out a lot better than Mario. They have been closer games, but, I mean, like, y you have to, you know, go for what's working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, it is broke, though. Our projector. Because, apparently, it's just not turning on. So, uh... We'll deal with that at a later time. <laughs> <laughs> right now we see Burbo losing his first stock and you know, unfortunate. He's so he was so close so to misses the dash grab does not get punished for it. Nice dash attack. Percent coming out, but Skull really just racking up percent right here. He's absolutely he's, he's getting a lot off right now. Nice side B there. I feel like right now landing side B's, uh, Burpo landing side B's is one of the best things you can do just because of how much percent that it builds. It it does build a lot of percent on him, yeah. Especially with our sound. Yeah. Forward tilt, not taking it yet, but he's at 161. He tries to go for the ledge trump, but doesn't... Uh, actually, ledge trump, I think he got ledge trumped. Beats out Paul Fair with his own. Back. Oh, doesn't get the back throw off. Great mash. Breaks out of that grab there. And back air there is going to take it. Burpo on his last stock of this game, of this set for this tournament. He has to make some magic happen here if he wants to, you know win this nice counter there to call up not call yet not though yet. dash attack whole team is in at yeah the, was the that one straight but, to the skies yeah joker sitting there he's sitting there waiting for the he's waiting for something to respond to yeah joker's in at 86 percent right now with one stock left this is not good he's starting but to build that percent Racking Just like that, 62% from zero. But. Makes it back. And he's making some magic happen. It's possible. If he can take this stock and get Arsene, you know, at the beginning of the next stock, it, it's, this is definitely possible. Back throw? Not, not yet. yet. This is still very dangerous percent. And back and there, there. That's going to take is. it. And there we Scuttle see. Scuttle takes the tournament. Scuttle taking it. And winning in game 10, congratulations. And uh, wonderful, wonderful job from uh, from both players. They played one hell of a set, you know? What a, what a set, man. It really, it was it was a good one. You know, we saw Burpo pull out the Mario, and so unfortunately he couldn't get it done with that, but, uh, you know, Stroker was doing so well. It just, that game, you know, just lost too many stocks too quickly. Both players just showing how how close they are within their within it, skill level. Like, honestly, yeah. It was just it was so even the entire time. Yeah, it was very even the entire time. But, uh, but yeah, Scuttled. Uh, you shut down. Taking it. So uh, I'm gonna do a little sign up real quick. The goons, the goons won a tournament. <laughs>